Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload a next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'd love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting a chance to know me. Or even if you'd just like to have a discussion on me and a Hayoka, or just an empath, or just even about the content of my video. Or if you feel like you enjoyed my video, like, share. Give me a thumbs up. It will greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and seeing what I'm about. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Thank you so much for the love and support. The kind words that you send me every time you watch my videos it is so greatly, great, greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. So much love to you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for the love and support. And namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you also. Today I'm listening to uh, positive, uh, I mean relaxing, morning relaxing music, positive feelings and energy, Adele. So I'll be posting that link in the description box below. Um, my video today is about to be about Twin Flame 101, when the veil comes off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go ahead and listen to this for a second. This, this is a conversation for adults. It's not raunchy or anything like that, but it's just a thing that children don't need to be hearing right about now. I'm just speaking to the adults. So, if you need a chance to go ahead and get your children out the room, I'll go ahead and give you a few minutes. Go ahead and get them out the room because this is a discussion for us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, y'all. Now back to what I was saying. Yeah, Twin Flame 101, when the veil comes off. It's just, you know, when we go through so many things and we have been blinded by the things that we have been taught, things that we have been told not to do, things that we've been told to do, it's just y'all i mean there's so many things that came across my my way between dis different subscribers that i talk to on a daily basis or you know people just come to me randomly um it's just been truly a blessing to me it really been truly a blessing to me and so um it was just like learning things and you know just be able to tell people stuff but it's just the things that we go through in life that it is just like we need to change we really need to change um i had somebody come up well not actually come up to me but actually hit me up and they were telling me um asking me if i was with anybody and you know i said yes um and they were asking me um you know um i want to find true love and i said all of us want to find true love you know we we have been in, in and out of relationships where, you know, people have been, you know, we've been dating or we have lessons and blessings from everybody that we meet. But it was just this person that told me, you know, they don't want to be alone. That's the key thing for you not to be in a relationship. When you feel like you're alone and you're tired of being alone, I've known too many people and I've been suspect of that myself, um, where, uh, you know you don't want to be by yourself so you know you start looking around and you know getting on the dating scene but we don't realize when we're alone like that that's our time to be able to you know grow ourselves that's our downtime for us to be able to heal from whatever relationships we had from in the past whatever trust issues that we have whatever whatever things that we want in a relationship things that we don't want in a relationship that is a bad time to be with somebody when you're lonely because it's just the fact is when you get into a relationship like that, you're never going to be satisfied. Or the person you're going to with, be with is never going to be satisfied. And then they're going to probably be going off and doing their own little thing. And then, you know, people will be like, oh, well, you know, it's better to have a piece of man than no man at all or a piece of woman than, 
no woman at all. That's a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. You better have the whole thing. You better have the whole thing. Somebody that can support you financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, sexually. Just have your back. Just have your back. But until then, be by yourself. Be by yourself. Work on you. Stop trying to find you a woman. Stop trying to find you a man. Work on you. That's why I work on myself. And yes, I said, you know, I had to tell him I was with somebody. Yes. Because I do have a soulmate out there waiting for me. So, you know, until I, I see that person that actually, you know, that really, you know, really gets me and just like, you know, oh, dad, you know, this is the one. I to keep going. And it's not like I took myself out the market, but it's just the fact is I don't work on me to the point where I know what I want. So if you, you can't sit up here and supply that in my life and I can't supply that in your life, there ain't no point on us wasting each other's time. <laughs> and there is no point on us wasting each other's time. So until then, you know, you just go ahead and, um, you just go ahead and, uh, do what you need to do. You know, work on yourself. Be what you need to be, you know, decide what, you know what, this is what I want in a relationship. This is what I want. So when that love does approach you, it's just like when you start looking for love, when you stop actually looking for it, that's when it comes to you. That's why I say I don't go looking for stuff like that. It's just like when somebody can meet you and they can just see you on the physical and just like, oh, I want to be with you. I don't want to be with you. I want to be with you and this and this and that. And you could be an actual nutcase. And they don't even know that because they're going by what they see. Not by the chance of getting to know you, seeing, you know, is this a person I want to be with or is this person, you know, because sometimes we fall short on trying to date people and not giving them a chance to know them and we are going to slap with them. The next thing you know, you know, got you a daggone person that's running up your credit, trying to put everything in your name, trying to make you a slide or whatever because you didn't get a chance to know them. So it's just like when I'm talking about that veil, when that veil comes off, and you know you've been through so many situations you'll start seeing people for who they truly are and it just doesn't have to be a significant other you'll start seeing people that's been in your circle and I might tap on a nerve when I say that but when you find somebody that's in your circle they ain't even supposed to be there no more it's just like you're like just like hey how long <laughs> and this has been going on and I have not noticed this but when you go through your awakening you will see Things for what they truly are. Things that probably, you know, you probably would have snapped off and would have went off on. Now you'll just look at it and just like, you know what? This ain't even worth my reply no more. That's when you know you're growing up in life. That's when you know you're maturing. You're becoming that better person that you need to be. So it's just like when we're going through different things and, you know, it's just like we go through different things and we get mad at God about the things that is going on in our lives. And you're trying to understand why these things have happened. Like um, when we get when we're on, you know, if you have Facebook Messenger, you probably have gotten um, videos or tagged in something like if you send this to three, you know, 15 people or whatever. But I seen this video yesterday. It was about this girl doing this rap. And she made a perfect point. It's just like, you know, we're trying to figure out all the things that are going on in life with current events. We got people shooting up places. We got people where they're finding their children in, you know, freezers and stuff like that. Some of them, you know, they say that, you know, organs and stuff are missing. And we're trying to figure out why did God let this happen? Why did he allow these things to happen? But you don't know the reason why we go through things like this. And it's a messed up situation. And it's just like <clears throat> when we lose children um, to, you know, illnesses or fatal accidents or, you know, homicide and stuff like that. It's to open our eyes and realize there's things that we need to, you know, evaluate in our own lives. You know, what are we doing with our families? What are we teaching our sons? What are we teaching our daughters and stuff like that? And we don't get that. You know, when we lose our children to these you know, these, you know, sad diseases like cancer and stuff like that. It's just, a, you know, it's a sad situation, but it opens 
everybody's eyes like, you know what, we need to find a cure for this. There's just too many of our children are not making it past 10 or are not making it past 20. We need to try to do something about this. So it's just like when we go through things like this and we don't understand why God is allowing these things to happen. But it's not like he's trying to shake us up to wake us up about the things that are going on around us that we need to change. <laughs> we really do. And it's just like when we have people coming in in our lives, like if you're dating somebody and you're trying to figure out why do I keep attracting these people? Why do I keep going through the same thing I'm going through? And it's just you got that's that time where you need to step back and evaluate yourself. What am I doing that I'm going to keep on attracting these negative you know, zero heroes. <laughs> what do I? What am I doing? And I have to use. I have to tell myself that too. Like you know, there's some guys that I dated that were you know really good, but there's also some ones that I dated were really really bad. And so I had to you know reevaluate re myself. Like you know, why do I keep attracting these type of men? Why why do I do that? You know, why don't I date something that someone that is you know out of the norm that is not in that category? You know, there's a lot of things that you, you have to ask yourself on many different things you go through. You know, I had to tell that person that was talking about true love. I said, this is the time that you need to reevaluate yourself. If, when you come into a relationship, respect yourself and respect your partner at the same time. Respect your relationship. You know, don't be asking for, you know, because so many of us pray for relationships. And when we finally got a good thing, we'll go mess it up over something stupid. You know, and it's just like I told him, you got to be ready for that. You got to be able to work hard, know what you want in life, what you want in a relationship, what you want from your partner, what you want your partner to expect from you. You know, you got to learn all these different things. And it's just like when you finally figure out what you want and you know you have healed from every possible thing that you need to do when it comes to relationships, when it comes to just being in life, when that veil comes off, oh my God, it is such a beautiful thing because you will start noticing the most beautiful things around you. You probably haven't even noticed before. You probably haven't even noticed before because it's just like the more, you know, extended family subscribers that I talk to on a personal basis and they're letting me know, you know, I, I found all these different things about myself that I'm loving and I'm enjoying about myself that you actually showed me things that I wasn't even recognizing about myself. And I mean, that is just a beautiful thing when I know I can help you do that, when I'm doing that for myself. So it's just like when you have that veil come off, learn yourself, love yourself, respect yourself, see the things that you weren't really seeing before, pay attention to the people that are around you. See if they're on the same level as you. If they're not, let them go. You know, you did your part on trying to help them grow. If they're not growing and they're just staying stagnant, you, you know, that's all on them. That's a personal issue. So I hope you are able to get something out of this video. I hope you have a blessed weekend, a safe weekend. Enjoy your Memorial Day, and I will see you on my next video. Uh, I hope you are able to get something out of this. And like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a line, even if it's about me getting to know you or about you being an indigo or empath, any kind of special gift you got, or even about the content of my video today. So I hope you are able to enjoy it and send out as much love and light and positivity as possible. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.